Well, Ross, a uh, fantastic game today. Again, a bit of an exciting one. I thought the boys were brilliant for strikers to the defence, just all put 100% effort in and then just showed we were a better team. Surprised we went in 0 at half time. I thought we could have got scored a couple of first half, but then the second half we just put the game to bed. And then you see the frustration with the, uh, with Dundee, but just the boys were brilliant. That, that was a great save you had. There was one a shot down to your left-hand side, your near post, you went down, you had to put two two hands together in the second half. You couldn't have seen much of that shot beforehand. No, it was more of a reaction save. Danny done well to hold the boy up, and then the boy just cut inside and then just tried to put in the far corner, but I managed to read him a bit, and then just anticipated it, and then just managed to put it out for the, uh, out for the corner. So that's your seventh clean sheet. Ian here was being... Uh, unkind to you and saying I was to ask you why didn't you get eight clean sheets you know that Morton game uh, is that, that a frustrating one for you? frustrating as well but you know you can't really look back and hinder against things you've just got to look, look forward and then last games have been brilliant it's team effort defence have been brilliant midfield strikers all working together putting 100% effort in together so it's a team game it's a, the clean sheets are coming from us all the defence are putting their, their bodies in front of every shot they can and if it goes through I just want to help them out as well and if I have to make the save I'll try and make the save and do as much as I can to help the team. You sound like you're enjoying yourself down here and there. Uh, no, it's brilliant just coming and playing and that's just a different experience from what I'm used to and then just obviously it's a good start and the boys have been brand new with me and just uh, as soon as I came in welcome me, brilliant and then just it's a great great team spirit in the team right now, just good banter on that but we're serious as well when it comes to training and games, just, just the perfect mix in my opinion. So do you get much contact from Celtic finding out how you're doing? Yeah, Celtic look at all the games, the coaches speak to me all the time about it and then I'm in there at the start of the week just uh, working on my gym programme as well so I'm always in contact with Celtic and the coaches have been brilliant with it and then they've had boys doing, uh, uh, the coaches have been kept to games as well and just keeping a close eye on me and then I'm speaking to them, speaking to them all the time every week about and they're asking how I got on in that and then they're, they're uh, what is it? They're getting feedback from other people and then giving it back to me and I'll be on good feedback so far, so I just hope I can keep up. There's a good go coaching set-up at Air as well. You, do you get much from that as well? Yeah, it's just the training that's great here as well. It's just the uh, Celtic wanted me to bulk up a bit because I'm not the biggest boy, am I? Just tall he's just skinny. So I just, they want to keep in contact with me towards the start of the week for my gym programme and then coming into games, I'm just a bit air focusing on that. But I think it's just a brilliant mix. Now, we always ask strikers and other players, you know, what are your targets for the year? Do you have targets? Of course, I think every player's got targets. Just, I just want to do as much as I can for the team, concede as little goals as possible, and then you can get a wee assist today, which is all right, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks very yeah, much. Well. We brought you out to the Seagulls oh, again. Strike, just strike, come on. <laughs> well, Ian, quite a fantastic performance by United there. You must be a proud man tonight. Yes, very proud of everybody, all the players and the, the fans as usual. We're just in the last year or so, the away sport's been out of this world. So, Yeah, but it was great, you know, but we came up here. I'm not saying expecting to win, but we knew we had a real chance. And... Uh, it turned out like that. Half time we came in and we felt she'd been at least two goals up. So there's always at the back of your mind if you missed your chance. But then the second half was more of the same. And uh, Lawrence got his obligatory couple of goals and Moff got one. And some of the performances were as a team and individually were sensational. Yes, uh, probably all the headlines and most of the press tomorrow will be about Shanklin getting two goals against Premiership opposition. Yeah. But for us, we were looking at the midfield and we thought Robbie Crawford was exceptional today. He is every week now. You know, um, Murdoch and Kerr allow him that platform, and you know we had to take Alan Forrest off because he had worked himself into the ground. You know, so uh, and in a position that's probably not his best position. I think he's better off the left or, or behind the striker. But yeah, I mean it, we didn't have a failure. Um, you know, we talk about the amount of goals we scored, but defensively this year, uh, you know, it's been we lost a, a reasonably fortuitous goal against Morton after about 15, 20 minutes. We haven't lost a goal since. And, and that's really pleasing. And when you look at that bench there today, uh, you did bring him on eventually. You've got Stevie Bell there at the back, and you also had your new, your new signing, uh, Liam Smith. Yeah. He was also there. Uh, was there a reason for Liam not playing? You played him on Tuesday. Well, we, the back four that's played most of the games hasn't he lost a goal, so I didn't see any reason to change it. You know, in the fullness of time, I, I believe Liam will probably be in the team, and, and Andy will be in the team as well. But 
right at this minute, we just ride this crest of a wave. Now you've also the press talking about him there, your goalkeeper as well doing, I mean, what's that, seven games were you saying with a clean sheet? Well, I one goal in eight games and that was a free kick that was kind of missing under a wall, which is really tough for a goalie to save, but he thinks he should have saved it, so he's been terrific and he's, he's got a year of confidence. Well, he's a smashing young man and uh, I, I told Brendan Rodgers how well he's conducted himself and he has done and he's, he's, he's vital to us just like everybody else is. Now everyone's going to be asking who do you want in the next round, the quarter-final? I, I, I don't even know the results, so I couldn't care. I'll just go and enjoy this game and prepare for a big game next week when I'm sure we'll have a real big crowd. Thanks, Cheers.